Hello, and welcome to this episode of Step by Step through Mark's Gospel. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, is about to face a challenge. Will he be willing to admit that he knows Jesus? Or will his nerve fail? We'll see the answers we dig into our passage for today, which is Mark chapter 14 and verses 66 to 72. There is a link in the video description to an online Bible where you can read what happens for yourself. Family holidays for me as a child were always camping holidays, and they involved a lot of walking. For the first few years we stuck to various parts of the UK, but then we ventured further afield to mainland Europe. One of my favourite places to visit was the Swiss Alps. I loved waking up to views of the mountains and exploring them on our daily hikes. At various points, the paths were narrow with steep drops down the mountain. For safety, chains had been bolted into the rocks so that you could hold on. It probably wasn't as dangerous as it seemed, but to me it felt like one false move and that would be it. I'm sure that's how Peter felt in these verses. Jesus has been arrested and Peter has followed behind and managed to sneak into the grounds of the house of the high priest where Jesus is being tried. Although they hadn't issued a warrant for the arrest of Jesus' disciples, Peter would have known he wasn't going to be the most popular person around if they found out that he'd been with Jesus. Warming himself by the fire, he's spotted by a servant girl who seems to recognise him. In verse 67, Mark tells us, When she saw Peter warming himself, she looked closely at him. You also were with that Nazarene Jesus, she said. What would Peter do? He's got to make a choice. Would he own up to knowing Jesus, even though it might mean bad stuff would happen? Would he do it, or would he keep quiet? Mark tells us in the next verse, He denied it. I don't know or understand what you're talking about, he said, and went out into the entryway. Now, we need to be careful that we aren't too hard on Peter at this point. In verse 50, Mark tells us that the bulk of Jesus' disciples had done a runner when Jesus was arrested. Peter had the courage to follow Jesus. Here he was in the enemy camp. That took a certain amount of guts. But in verse 29, Peter told Jesus, Even if all fall away, I will not. He'd said it with such confidence. There was no way he would deny Jesus or fail to stand up for him. Yet here, faced with the question of the servant girl, his courage evaporates and he goes off to hide in a corner. Later, there is a chance for redemption. The servant girl sees him again and shares her recollections with others. Mark tells us in verse 69. When the servant girl saw him there, she said again to those standing around, This fellow is one of them. No, no way, Peter replies. There's a short reprieve and then more people begin to ask him the same question. This time with an air of certainty. After a little while, those standing near said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean. They're convinced he must be one of Jesus' disciples as he comes from the same region, Galilee. Will Peter admit to knowing Jesus? No. In verse 71, we're told he denies it even more adamantly. He began to call down curses and he swore to them, I don't know this man you're talking about. Mark tells us that after this, a cockerel crowed a second time. Why is that important? Well, back in verse 30, Jesus had told Peter, Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, Today, yes, tonight, before the cock crows twice, you yourself will disown me three times. Peter had been resolute. That definitely was not going to happen. He would readily admit to knowing Jesus and stand up for him. Yet he hadn't. He'd faced the test and failed. As he hears the cockerel, he remembers Jesus' words. Mark tells us he breaks down and weeps. To me, one of the marks of authenticity in the Bible is its readiness to show us the weaknesses and failures of its heroes. That's certainly what we see here. Peter is one of the great characters, a chief among the disciples of Jesus. Yet here he is, facing a test of identity and failing to stand up and be counted for Jesus. But why is it here? 
Is the purpose of this passage just to show us that Peter wasn't perfect? No, I don't think it is. It's more than that. Here we see the contrast between Jesus and Peter. We see the disparity between Jesus' love for him and his love for Jesus. Jesus is willing to go to the cross to pay for Peter's sin so he could be free. But what is Peter prepared to endure for Jesus? And then let's widen the lens here. Jesus was willing to go to the cross to pay for our sin so we could be free. But what are we prepared to endure for him? The Bible tells us that Jesus gave his life for us. Remember Jesus' words in Mark chapter 10 and verse 45. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. That's how far he was willing to go for you and me. But let's be honest. Do we deserve it? Is Jesus on the cross and the forgiveness of sins he purchased there a gift we have earned? Peter, so bold and courageous and ready to die for Jesus, fell so far short. Would we not? Do we not? Yet here's the bit that always gets me. Jesus knew what Peter would do. He knew what the other disciples would do. He knew they wouldn't stand with him. He knew their love was frail and breakable, and he knew the same about me, and he knew the same about you. Yet that didn't deter him. As Peter denied him, Jesus didn't march out to tell him that was it. Peter, if you can't admit to being my disciple, there is no way I'm going to die for you. No, Jesus doesn't love us because we love him. He doesn't go to the cross because we deserve it. He goes because he loves this world and he loves you and he loves me and wants us to be saved. And the cross, the Bible says, is the only way to make that possible. Just stop and think about Jesus for a moment. Doesn't it blow your mind? That's all for today. In the next episode, we'll be following Jesus to his second trial and see more of what he had to endure. Do like or subscribe to the Facebook page, YouTube channel or the podcast to know when it comes out. Hopefully, see you next time.